Now let's talk briefly about real-time notifications. Uh, one of the capabilities we had, uh, I mentioned, is the ability to trigger real-time uh, events out of NetSuite. This is what NetSuite allows with user event scripts, uh, but because of our managed bundle, we provide a, a way of, of doing that in a very, uh, very simple way. What I'm going to do to help demonstrate this is actually an integration with Slack. Uh, many of you are familiar with Slack. It's kind of the, the darling of, um, of uh, collaboration these days. So let me show you from our marketplace how easy it is to go down to my Slack tile. I have a range of different templates here. If I just click on one of them uh, to do an installation, it's going to give me a single flow, and uh, I'll explain what it's doing once it's installed. To configure this, it's really as simple as choosing one of my existing NetSuite connections that I've already got set up. I can configure it to point to an existing uh, uh, Slack instance. And we're off and running. Now, by default, when we install a template, templates may have multiple flows. In this case, it only has one, but you notice it's disabled. But if I just go into this, we'll see that what's happening on the first step of the export, whereas what we saw before was referencing a safe search, here, it's a real-time, so every time a case is created, well, again, we have access to all the records, we can see under what context it's going to execute. So in this case, if there's a user event change and the execution is actually a create event, then we're going to basically uh, be notified. And all the information about that NetSuite case object is going to be sent directly to Integrator I.O. So instead of having to do an export of a, of a safe search, we're now being triggered directly by NetSuite with the information as defined directly within the product. So instead of having to write your user event script, it's all happening right here uh, within a, a very easy to use UI. Again, uh, there are other things you can do. Again, very NetSuite specific to define uh, what other fields do you want. Uh, so we could say, well, I want to grab all the cases, but actually only those assign, you know, where the assignee is Matt, for example, right? We could do some filtering at that level. And then once we've done that, then the import step, in this case, calling a REST API, uh, it's very straightforward to set up. The, the template already has this for you, um, but you could build that yourself. And then on the final step uh, that I'll show you is, is the mapping. Uh, and it's a little more complex because in this case, we need to send to Slack uh, so a formatted string. So this is just sort of a, a templating uh, mechanism that allows us to, to send uh, formatted data to Slack. And overall, we're going to send you know, the text that we want to um, post, which channel, which username, and even an icon like for an avatar. And that's as simple as it gets for you know, creating a, a real-time flow uh, directly out of, uh, out of NetSuite. 